Hello. You know, when you fix an Italian food, everything has got to be just so perfect. Especially when you make a pizza. So hello and welcome to SBC, SB Cinema, or should I better say, so I will come to SBC. Today we are making some cheap pizza better. <laughs> yeah, let's call it a pizza hack. We take the standard pizza, it's one with four sorts of cheese on it, and yeah, was overnight in the fridge so it isn't frozen anymore. After mentioning Frozen, all the little girls start to scream. No, not this Frozen. So, let's put it out here. And leave this below it so it doesn't get dirty. And now we're starting with some... With some cheese. Yeah, can't never be enough cheese. This is Idamar. Just cut it with your finger and yeah? And then just I'm ripping it. Just with your fingers. Yeah. Is it actually in focus? Yeah, it kind of is. Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious already. <laughs> So we got the cheese and now pepperoni. <sighs> Let's take some scissors. The only ones I have around. Of course the wrong ones. But this doesn't matter. Give them a little more profile to use them. I could say it's on purpose to make them look better, right? Yeah, it's on purpose. And those are the really sharp ones. I do put out the little cores, just to wash them out. This scissors work actually quite nice for this. Next time I use them on purpose. Put out a bit more. Can never be enough pepper on your pizza. Just dump the internals out here. I love this color. That's so beautiful. And now let's put a bit more on this here. Oh yeah, baby. Close this up again. And next step. Next step is the search. And I'd rather use this one as sport than about the cams on it because this one is better. Uh, which one should we use? Let's use this one. And I'm not just using it as simple as it is. I'm ripping in it, I'm twisting it, and I'm pressing it together to make little flowers. You can actually put them, if you are making a fancy catering, you can put them together like a little rose or something. But I'm doing them here, because this way they get crispier. Not too much. Let's say two more. Two more is not too much. Just ripping and we could cut them, but I'm just doing it here for myself. If I do it fancy, I just cut in it. Like I rip it now. Then I fold it. And then I press it together so they stay where they are. And where they should stay. <sighs> it's beautiful already, but today we are going fancy. Yeah, let's put a bit of 
just stuff on it. Uh, excuse me for a second, I have to wipe my fingers. If you rip this sausage, it's getting quite oily. I should play Italian music, maybe I put something in here from the YouTube audio library, not from the radio, because then I'm getting a copyright strike and the copyright police knocks on my door. When they knock on your door, you know you're screwed. Yeah. And like with the cheese before, I'm just ripping small pieces down and placing them on here. Ah, yeah. That's beautiful. The rest I'm just eating. Mmm. How's this? I don't want to put it back in if I had it in my fingers. That's unhygienic. But I, of course, washed them before. A yeah, little trick here. If you have something like this, just cut it down and it will fit easier. See? It's all neat and packed away. And this little beauty goes now into the oven. So, yeah, and in case you're wondering, no, I don't have a fancy kitchen. It's just some old stuff. This one was actually a birthday present. I clean it once a month. So it's about four months that I have cleaned it for, <laughs> for sure. And putting this Instagram worthy pizza on here. I could just have it on the hand, but if you have a camera standing in my way, it's easier. So, yeah, and this is how you can improve your own pizza. Pizza! Pizza! Pizza, pizza, pizza! I did actually get this oven cheaper because Amazon dented it here on top but it's working fine for about five years now so why to buy something new as it is already not frozen anymore i'm just putting it on about 15 minutes if it isn't fully perfect i'm just adding a bit more time yeah the oven is a quick Works perfectly, so I can recommend it. It allows you to switch between upper heat and upper and lower heat, so could be better if it had three switch options and I could mod it, but yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Godfather's combo, right? If you're really serious about a bite to eat and where to go to get it, then conquer a combo at my place. Godfather's. It's outrageous. All five pounds of it. A pound of cheese holding down a saucy bed of beef, pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, onions, olives. Got the idea? It's a meal. So pick up the phone and order one. Do it. So, seems like it's finished. So, and here she is, our Instagram worthy perfect pizza. Yeah, let's take those inappropriate scissors and cut a piece out of them. And yeah, I'm usually cutting pizza with scissors because it's just so much easier. Nothing does slide around. But it's the first time for this scissors here. <laughs> yeah. And you can of course put a bit of pepper on the if you like or salt even. But I think this one is spicy enough. Mm. 
Delicious. Yeah, and now you know how to make the perfect cheap pizza at home. And yeah, you see those little flowers I've made? Crispy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. And so, here we are, and I have made the effort to clean your scissors. Wow! <laughs> yeah, and if you're wondering what wine I'm drinking to this, it's water. Yeah, I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, so let's put in a good old movie and hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time. I have to eat now.